So we have two voyages that go to the Baltics we're very excited about. I love both of them, but they're completely different. The one that goes on the northern side of the Baltics is more about the small islands and the archipelagos, and you see the small fishing villages. You get some big city stuff. There's some archaeological sites we're going to see. The other side of the Baltics, we're in Estonia, we're in Latvia, we're in Lithuania, we're in Poland. and. And the history, the deep history they have there, the struggle to try to gain independence from everybody that tried to overrun them over the last several hundred years um, is exciting. And there, there's just so much to learn there. So you could do one or the other, completely different experiences, or you can put them together and have a 14-day voyage through the Baltics where you get both sides of nature and history and you can put it all together. I find it exciting. Baltic Sea is an extraordinary destination. This place has so many different countries ringing an inland waterway. One of the most interesting things about this place is how complex it really is. In the Baltic, we visit places that have a shared history and shared architectural structures as well. We're also going to some of the places up there that have more natural history elements to them. It's a beautiful part of the world and there's so much that draws that region together. We are on our way now into Stockholm. We're sailing through the beautiful Swedish archipelago, and when we get there, we're actually going to be able to dock right in the heart of the old town. This afternoon, we're going to be walking on Stockholm's rooftops. It's a beautiful area of the world. So much natural beauty and history that I don't get to experience every day. When I walked into the Vasa Museum, my jaw dropped down to my waist maybe my knees. It was astonishing. It has been thrilling to have traversed along the Baltic Sea and had no sense of what that was like. Wonderful. Fabulous trip. Enjoyed all of it. My name is Mike Dunn. This is my wife, Pat. Uh, we're from Wisconsin, a small community called Delafield, just outside the city of Milwaukee. Uh, we've done natural t history tours with Lindblad, Alaska, Galapagos. We didn't quite know what to expect, but we found that with the historians and the archaeologists who are on ship and the nature of the trip, that this has been very, very instructive and a wonderful experience into the Baltic countries. You know, these are remote areas, and it's unlikely that Americans would travel to the Baltic nations without having this kind of organization and the ease that is provided by being on ship and going to all these cities. Uh, today we're in the village or the city of Gdansk, Poland, formerly known as Danzig. Uh, it is an incredible city. I think the most moving part of it is to realize that all these wonderful buildings were once destroyed in World War II and have been rebuilt in a way that absolutely resembles the original architecture and construction. And I think the biggest realization for us on this trip is to see what the people of the Baltic Republics and Poland have undergone during the period of Nazi and then subsequently Russian invasion and occupation. Uh, their resilience has been most impressive. Tonight's meeting with President Lech Walesa has a special poignancy and meaning uh, because he symbolized solidarity and the, Pol the Polish resistance. You have come across some Polish people here or there. And you must have realized that no matter how poor we are, which we are, uh, we are proud and democratic, freedom-loving people. 